Okay. So what questions might you have about commas? Marcos, let's start with you. Why commas? Why are commas used? Why are commas used? Okay. What else? What other questions might you come up with? And it might even just be common questions, right, that other people might have about commas. London? Why not just use periods instead of commas? Okay, good, good question. What else, Daniel? Uh, why do we have to use commas? Okay, why are we using commas? Uh, Micah, did you have your hand up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, why do they have to look like that? Why do they have to look like the way they look? Okay. Okay. Any other questions, Brecken? Why do they have to? <laughs> okay. Really thinking outside the box here. All right. So, while I'm getting my computer ready, commas are used for a lot of different things. And in our activity today, we're going to be focusing on commas that are associated in names. So, when you speak a name, in a sentence, where do commas go? That's going to be the theme here. So just give me a second. I'm trying to open this stupid thing up. All right, now it seems to be wanting to work. So good. Yay. I'll get it connected. So I'm going to show you some examples of what commas would look like. when using a name. So we've been through this. So commas help us. Commas help us separate parts of speech. They also avoid confusion in sentences. And they help us be clear in our writing. Because sometimes how we speak is different than how we portray it when we're writing. And that's because it's hard to hear a voice, right, when you are looking at words on a paper. But it's obviously very easy to hear a voice when it's just somebody speaking to you. Like I can take pauses, for example. They can be long pauses, they can be very brief pauses, but you hear the pause because you, you're hearing the speech. But if I were to write everything down, you were not gonna hear those pauses in some cases, some of you are going to read really fast and just go right on through, and some of you will read much slower. So the way I speak will be different for each person based on how you're reading my text. Well, we try to keep it, we try to keep it more uniform, right, that everyone's reading it the same way by using things like commas. So rule one is using commas with names. So we're gonna go through, I think there's five rules in usage of commas. And we did a little bit of this in our grammar work way back in like October or something like that. So we're going to be, this should be a review for some of you. Yes, Daniel? What Steve's doing. So actually that's one of our examples. Right. Not Gary, but we'll get there. So placing a comma when addressing a person. When a name is in the middle of a sentence, we use two commas. So when you address somebody, you're going to be putting a comma in the sentence. So there's some examples here. We have, let's eat, grandma. And then we have, ask your partner, Cindy, for a pencil. And then we have, mom, may I go outside? So those are some examples of you addressing somebody by their name and putting a comma either after you've addressed them and saying what you need to say, or saying what you need to say, comma, then their name. Or if their name is in the middle, you say something, comma, their name, comma, and then complete what you're saying. Okay, Brecken? Well, so here's the, here's the thing, the idea behind this comma here 
is you're trying to get someone's attention, right? Bob, may I go outside? So you're going to do, remember, a comma has a very brief pause. It's not a, as long of a pause as a period, but it's still a pause. And so when we're speaking to somebody, typically we're going to say their name so that they, we know that we have their attention and then complete the rest of the sentence, correct? That's how we would do it if we were speaking. Like right now, if I were to call on somebody's name, I would first call on it, wait a brief second so that they at least register, oh, he's talking to me, and then complete the rest of what I'm saying instead of just saying the name and going immediately into what I'm saying because that gives them no time to really turn and look and listen, right? So it's kind of trying to recreate that communication part where we talk to each other. It's trying to recreate it in text form. So that's why. Yes, Kyla. Between words? Yes, they are, but we are not getting to those commas just yet. We're going to focus on these ones. So here's some activity here, and we're going to be using a whiteboard for this. As a class, we're going to create a list of names and activities. After, choose a name and an activity from the list to create a sentence. Make sure to use your commas and create three. So let's just come up with some names real quick and then come up some, with some activities, and then you guys have options to choose from. So, Micah? Harry Berry. Okay, so Harry. Harold. Trevin. Father. Yay. Father. Okay. It's Jeffrey. He's making me so happy. Jet. John. 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 London. Why? That's a lot of names. Um, Wesley. Get old Bobby. Bobby. Billy Bobby Bill. Okay, Bobby. Daniel. Biden. Oh, come on. Bobby. 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 That's the last name. Zoe. Emma. There we go, you got your one girl name. That's not true. Okay. Amelia? Juliana? All right, activities. Activities. This is what we're going to next. London? What do you say? Basketball. Tyler. Marcos, I can't hear Tyler right now. Okay, board game. Marcos, you had some idea, I'm guessing. Yep. Other activities, Zoe? Swimming. Swimming. Did they know you have to Um, hot dog. Why? Oh, oh, I you have to watch the people watch. Yeah. Wesley? Football. Football? Football. Oh, wait. That's what you're talking about. Football, soccer? I don't know what football, football you're talking about. Football, football. Okay. Football. 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 Daniel. MLG. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a sport. That's not a sport. So somebody never said sport and said activity. <laughs> Make it an MLG. MLG or FIFA, because that's what my kids have in <laughs> Foosball. I was close. That's different, though. That's I know, though. That's not. All you got to do is a little football. <laughs> yeah. Marco. Quiet. Jesus! I said football. I didn't know which football.
all you what, wanted, so I did the Wesley, American football. Wesley, you said football. it was football. Thank football. you. Yeah, I know, didn't you? American football. Oh. What do you think? Okay, that's plenty of activities. So, you're going to take take three names, three activities, create sentences with those in mind. Go ahead and do that now. Major League Gamer. I'm pretty sure is what he was. MOG? MOG is kind of, yeah, it's Major League Gamer. Anyway. I'm not sure how that's an activity. Oh, it's more of a title. They should have put down Wizard League so Harry thinks you're a wizard, Harry. Yes. You're a wizard, Harry. what some of the things you came up with. London, you want to start us off? Alright. John, go with Emma and play soccer. Alright, perfect. Brecken? Because you're saying he Harry will. Not Harry does. Uh, maybe you could have formed like a question, like Harry, are you going to be an MLG and get older? Something like that. Because then you're addressing them. Because it sounds like in your sentence, it sounds like you're just making a statement about Harry. Oh. So, I'm not sure if you would be one there. Kylie? Okay. Marcos? <coughs> Bobby, spelled with the I. Okay, if you should be reading it. Did Bobby. you even have a sentence? Or? Did any? Bobby is eating, is eating hot dogs. Okay. <laughs> Daniel? So, Amelia, we'll finish with you. Ask your friend, Amelia, and that kind of works. That does work, yeah. All right. So, in this, we're going to finish with an activity on this little worksheet that Mr. Reed found. Um, it shouldn't take you very long to do. It is sentences with a lack of commas. You need to find the spots where the commas belong. Some of these sentences already have commas in them, and they are correct, because the directions say add commas to the sentences as needed. 
So that doesn't mean you're take, that means you're not taking away commas. There's no incorrect commas. You're not correcting mistakes. What you're doing is trying to find where the commas belong. Okay? So if you see a comma already in the sentence, that's fine. It should be there. Okay? So just make sure that when you're looking at the directions that this is focusing on, that you're trying to find where commas belong in the sentence. And then, um, yeah, I'll let it take the place for today, and we'll just put the piece to another day. So, because it says as needed in the directions, that means there might be sentences where you don't actually need to add any commas, and the commas are already there. So, just make sure that when you're looking at them, you can go ahead and end the video now. Also, you may put away your whiteboards and markers because you won't need them anymore.